called the Riverside Medical Clinic and it's based on the patient medical home in that the patient is at the top of the totem pole and the staff is underneath and the physician is at the bottom. So we all work as a team in order to meet the patient needs. It's not physician driven medicine. It is patient focus, also not patient driven. The patient is part of the team. So we want our patients to be involved in their care. We want them to educate itself and, and be part of that collaborative process. <laughs> Every office has a theme which was selected by someone who worked on the clinic instead of having a physician exam room. We have a hockey room, we have an alpine room, a technology room, a book room, the Disney room for the kids. Dawn, if a patient comes in, let's say a mom with multiple kids, maybe it's the kids that need the care, maybe it's the mom that needs it. There's a special Disney room that's assigned for that. It's, it's bigger, it has interactive things for the kids. If there happens to be ADD kids, for example, we actually get that proper even assessment. pharmacist in-house, then the patient is able to come, see their family physician, see the diabetic nurse, see a psychologist, get their medications from the pharmacy and it's all in one place. Patients nowadays, they don't just have blood, high blood pressure, they have multiple issues and there are other people that are more skilled than a physician at dealing with them. The diabetic nurse that sees eight diabetic patients a day, she can read blood sugars and help with nutrition and diet and exercise way better than the family physician. So if a patient comes in and I have reviewed their charts the previous day or the previous week, let's say, and I identify problems that I believe I would have the knowledge to assist or to provide education for that patient, then I would just approach the physician and say, hey, this patient, you know, um, is having some issues with their diabetes and this is something that I have knowledge on. I can meet with them for the first 15 minutes and have a conversation and provide some education that way. And then the physician would then either come in on that, sit down on that with me, or the patient would sit down with me and the physician together. We are going with actually a minimalist physician group and a maximum team around it because to be honest, you really don't need your physicians for, for a lot of things. You need them sure to, to make sure to maybe coordinate some things or bounce questions off, but the rest of the team is, is really is really gonna be the, the big driving force of what healthcare is, is going to be moving forward.